So welcome back to Keep Productive with ClickUp. My name is Francesco and we're going to dive into plenty of different tutorials, topics, news and resources around ClickUp. So the first video we're going to do and what we're focusing on today is the document side of stuff in ClickUp. And documents are a fairly more, well, more recent addition to ClickUp and they're actually already in their third version. Now documents help you to add a layer to your project management. They can help you collaborate with other people and really take it that step further. So as you can see, I've got ClickUp in front of me and I've already started to create a new document. And the great thing about this is I can actually create additional documents that are part of my view. So in this case, I'm gonna create a new document view and you'll see this pops up. It is a range of different um, views that you can add. And obviously you could go with the new whiteboarding abilities. But in this case, I'm actually gonna choose this one as a private view so I can add some notes and things that I don't necessarily want to collaborate. Although if you want to collaborate, you can switch that off. And you can also pin the view as well, which means that it keeps it as a fixed state on top of the area. So let's pin that and um, go ahead and add a title up here. In this case, I'm going to call it um, Academy Concept because I'm trying to flesh out an idea that gives me a little bit more information. And once I'm done, I might be able to share that. So as I was saying to you, pinning something brings it to the front center stage at this tab bar up here. And you can see that you can also move it about if you did want to, um, but obviously because it's pinned, it's fixed to that area and you'll see a lock icon as well, which gives it the status of private view. But if I didn't have that pinned, I can move these about in the order that I want them to, which is a nice addition. Now, okay, so there's a ton to sort of dig into and this is why we're calling it more sort of um, a little bit of a more advanced lesson. So the first thing you can do is add a cover photo. You can add something from Unsplash, which is a very popular website for being able to get great photos that have already been pre-created by people on the internet. In this one, I might just add this one and call the actual page Academy or the document Academy concept. Now, what I quite like is when you hit the slash command, you can add uh, relevant information, you can start bringing in a, a table view, you can start bringing in board view, list view, um, but you can also use some of the more um, sort of advanced uh, like formatting. We can call checklists, dividers, uh, bullet points, etc. And you've also got the ability to add things like buttons. So you can create these documents that can help you to share them externally and internally so people know what to do on the documents. You've also got the ability to add table of contents as well, as well as the regular stuff you'd expect inside of your account. Now, in this case, I'm actually gonna add a sort of banner, a green banner to start and just say, this is a uh, early phase look at Tool Academy so that people know when they get started. I'm gonna add that in bold and make a nice sort of warning so that people are aware that this is such an early stage thing that they're looking at. And I can go ahead and type in heading one and start the phase uh, about us maybe and start typing away like you would with a regular document. But we're gonna go a step further and show you some of the more advanced abilities um, on this account. So you can see on this right hand bar, you've got the ability to pop this open and you can start to see um, things like your uh, cover photo and whether you can knock that off. And you can start to customize the page that's in front of you. So you can even add uh, a sticky table of contents as well. I haven't actually added much to the document, but you can also protect the doc this document and page inside of your business plan. It's also got a very nice stats area and you can also use some of the more focus modes and things like that. And you can also build relationship bet between one page and another that are part of your ClickUp account. Now, wonder why this is useful? Well, this is useful because if you create a page that say is about marketing and uh, you want to connect it to a sales page that you and your team are coordinating on, your marketing um, plan of a product you're launching and the sales um, process for it. Maybe you want to connect those two together and it helps to build those linking and relationships so you can actually have that connected here, which is really nice. You've also got the ability to create templates. So in this case, maybe I want to save a bit of time on um, you know, setting things up around this product brief because this is a product brief essentially. I can use this um, template and I can press plus and what it's gonna do is it's going to reorganize the document for me. And you can see here that it's already done that by creating a product brief. 
So I can start using that straight away. And if I want to, I can even delete that original page because I can go in and customize this now and I can even add more pages to it. So those, those templates are actually really useful. The sharing abilities are really nice too. We can convert it to a PDF, HTML markdown, and even print it as well from here. You can also add comments so that you and your team can collaborate in real time and knock it down to the tray, a feature that I particularly like inside of ClickUp having that at the bottom there so you can sort of pop it up any given time. I'm actually in it right now, which is ideal. You can do all the regular stuff. So for example, if you modify a document that you really like, the structure of it, and you think it's fantastic, well, you can go ahead and actually save it as a template. And that's perfect for you and your team saving time on processes and again, that little bit of stress out that might uh, occur when creating documents. So perfect. I can start writing away on this product brief and uh, I can knock away this sidebar. I can even add tags to this as well so I can organize it further. I can see any relationships that are built and go into settings just from here. So they're the sort of, I guess, the, the setups and way to get started. But if you're looking to focus in on a document and you want to knock away a little bit of space, um, you can knock this and collapse the sidebar down. You can collapse the left-hand bar down as well. So you can really use this area to focus and hone in on the document at hand. And you can use these breadcrumbs at the top to find the relevant stages of the process. So that's how to go about uh, creating a document and taking it to that next level inside of ClickUp. Now remember um, that obviously this um, can be used in a wide variety of contexts and I probably will do a separate session on those list, table and board views that you can actually add inside of here because that's where it takes it to the more project management level and can bring you to connecting existing setups that are inside of your ClickUp account in real time and I can take you through that a little bit further. But hopefully this was a good, more advanced introduction to setting up your ClickUp documents, a really interesting place for getting started. So thank you very much, folks. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and make sure you're subscribed to keep productive with ClickUp. And we'll see you again in a future video. Cheerio.